Hello and welcome. I'm Deanna Cabunda, and joining me today for a very special Zoom interview is speaker Dan Bader. He's the author of Back from Heaven's Front Porch, Five Principles to Create a Happy and Fulfilling Life. He's also the author of Abraham Steiner, and I Met Jesus for a Miller Lite. Thanks so much for being here, Danny. Oh, you're welcome, Danette. Thanks a lot for the interview. So, Danny, I understand you have a very unique life experience, something that most of us never experience. Tell me a little bit about that. Yes. Yeah. Right, right before I turned 29 years of age, I was working a construction uh, job with two of my friends that had their own business. And tragically, um, my friend and I made a mistake and we lowered a ladder into an electric line um, that we just hit by about a quarter of an inch. So a very slight margin. And that electric line had about eight to 10,000 volts of electricity in it. And it came down the metal ladder and it went into me and it went into my, my friend. And uh, essentially it killed both of us. And um, I came back. You know, my friend didn't that day, so we lost, a, you know, just a wonderful man, husband, father, son, just a great guy. And, uh, and they, they said you were about, you were gone for six minutes. You were, you were dead. What? Yeah, yeah. The other, the other guy that was on the site, um, he came to me first and administered CPR, which, which didn't work, and he gave me up for dead. And, and he would always say in our conversations afterwards, you know, I would say, well, how, how long was I dead? And he would say six to eight minutes. You know, he kind of did the math about what he did at the job site and then ran and called 911 and came back. So, yeah, I was no longer uh, of this world, that's for sure. What did those six minutes teach you about living life? Well, you know, when I came back, as you can imagine, uh, you know, I was in a pretty dark place. I had a lot of um, survivor's guilt, post-traumatic stress, um, very lost, um, abusing things to just try to make myself feel better, which didn't work. So I, th I think what came out of that is, is I really learned the difference and a new perspective from just living our life to, to being fully alive and, and engaged with it. That, 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 that was really a big difference for me. After the accident, I was just kind of living, going through the motions and um, really didn't have the appreciation for this life, you know, that, that I believe we as human beings should have. So what is the difference then? What's the difference between living and being fully alive? Yeah, I, I think it's a, it, it's a mindset and it's a perspective. And, and it really comes down to two things for me is, is number one, you know, to appreciate this journey of life that we have every day in the good times and in the not so good times. And to understand, not morbidly, to walk around, you know, expecting gloom and doom or anything, but to understand that this is an imperfect world and we are all going to have our struggles. And, uh, you know, it's not fair, as people say. So, so number one is really to have that perspective. And then number two, because we do have that perspective, is always to have kind of that big, bold vision for, for where you're headed and what you're going to create for yourself and your family and your business and your organizations and your students, you know, if you're teaching. So it's, it's the ability to kind of be in the moment and be thankful for what you have and grind through the tough times, recognize the tough times, implement a strategy to get through them, you know, seek support from other people. And then is always to kind of have your eye on the future. So it's that dance between being here and saying, okay, this, this is what I'm up for. This is what I'm inspired to create on this wonderful journey called life. And do you think it's a transition that most of us can make if we work hard enough? Oh, sure. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, in going through what I went through firsthand, I know that we can move through these horrible times. And in talking with people who have undergone even, even greater tragedies than me, you know, their heart and their ability to press on and, and to have that vision and to seek support. Yes, we can all get through it. So I would just offer if anybody's watching this and you're going through something right now, you, you damn well just surrender and know that you, you will get through this. Just trust. Good, good, good. Uh, thank you so much, Danny. Uh, tell me a little bit about your five principles. So, yeah, the five principles I call jackrabbit, and I wrote about, wrote about them in Back from Heaven's Front Porch, and they're the principles that I started to apply in my life after the accident, just by learning and experimentation and uh, watching other people, quite honestly, that, that I wanted to kind of be like, not, not to emulate, but just to say, wow, they, they've got some good levels of resiliency and happiness and fulfillment going through so it's really five. It's to develop vision. It's to seek support from other people and be support, you know, lead with love. It's to be still and, and tap into the energy of stillness, you know, journaling and meditation. It's to know thyself, always to kind of hold up the mirror, as Socrates says, and see where we can kind of work on ourselves. 
And then the fifth one is, is, a, is a culmination of all of those. It's just to evolve, just to under, understand that we're going through continuous and gradual change and growth through the good times and through the struggles. Thank you so much, Danny. To learn more about Danny, his book, um, Back from Heaven's Front Porch, and any of his other projects, including a script that he's working on, yes. visit his website at dannybader.com. Thanks so much. Oh, you're welcome, Danette. Thank you very much.